Well, here we are. Guy, you're such an adult. When my mother told me I'd have to be taking care of my sister and her friends, I thought I'd have to miss the Halloween pumpkin prom. Oh, not on your life. There won't be any trouble at all. Now, Mary, you're in charge. And I want you to make sure that Bambi, Rosie, and Johnny don't get into any trouble. Okay. Have a good time. <laughs> Halloween has always been a special time of the year for me. You may think I'm crazy, but there really is a pumpkin-headed lawnmower killer, and he really did chop up my big sister Pam with a power lawnmower. I still have nightmares. It all happened 13 years ago today. Nothing, darling. Just mowing the lawn. Sure, Daddy. That's what you always say. I don't have time for breakfast. I've got a hysterectomy at nine. Has anyone seen my scalpel? Damien, sweetheart, have you seen Daddy's scalpel? Damien. This one? No, not that one. Where did I put that? Dad, don't forget, you and Mom promised to chaperone the Halloween pumpkin prom tonight. Of course, I'll be there. How could I forget my little girl's Halloween pumpkin prom? Where is the scalpel? Will this do, dear? What would I do without you? 
Oh. I don't want to upset you, but if anything happens, I just want you to know I love you. Oh! And I love you, too. So long, huh? Oh, your father's been under a terrible strain lately. I think it's beginning to show. Yeah, he's acting like he just killed somebody. Mary! Your father is a doctor. He kills people every day. Yeah. Murder? Yeah. Nurse? Yeah, where? Bald? Yeah. Bloody? Yeah. Arm severed, yeah. Hack two pieces, yeah, yeah. I got your picture, yeah. No, no, it's not a pretty one, yeah. I'll be right there, yeah. Our night shift people, a nurse. What was she doing out here? She worked here, the hospital. Detective, there's something you should know. One of your crazies escaped last night. How did you know that? Hell, it's obvious. Look over here. Any damn fool can see that. Look at here. There's a rope hanging out of the window. Dust. One of the other nurses heard her say, I think I'll take a shortcut through the woods tonight. Typical nurse move. No human could have done this. Must be the work of a wild animal. Maybe a, a werewolf. Maybe. The lawnmower killer. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, you lad. But you're too young to remember the most ghastly, grisly, ghoulish, god awful murder in this state's history. Well, when it happened, I wouldn't sleep until the murder was brought to justice. You mean you haven't slept in 13 years? I'm 31 years old, Doc, you tell me, huh? <laughs> now, forget it. I want to know about this crazy who escaped. Who was he? We don't know. His records were burned in a fire. Is he dangerous? 13 years, he's been locked in his room watching TV talk shows. The only people he knows are Merv and Mike and Phil and Dinah and Johnny. Answer your question? Bastard. Huh? <laughs> we found this in his room. It's a calendar. Good. And today's date circle. In blood. He's back. After 13 years, he's back, and I'm gonna nail him this time. What? No, who? I don't know. I'm asking you. What? Who? Who what? I don't understand. Now forget it. All I know is today's October the 31st. 31 backwards is 13. It's Friday, it's Halloween. It's the 13th anniversary of the lawnmower killings. There's a crazy loose. It's prom night. I'm out of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 
Hi, Mary. Hi, Norman. How are you this morning? I'm fine. How are you this morning? Well, I am so excited about... Well, about... Making love for the first time tonight? Right. Oh, I know, Norman. I can't think of anyone in the world I'd rather lose my virginity to. Yeah. I know what you mean. Norman? Mary! Stop that right now! Mary! I can't help it if I sound like a lawnmower every time I get excited. And, 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 and. I'm okay. It's okay. It's okay now. Oh, Norman. How are we ever going to make love? I'm the only virgin in the whole oh. school. But every time I hear that lawnmower sound, I... 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 I think this might turn the trick. Oh, Norman. Earplugs. How thoughtful. I love you, Mary. I love you too, Norman. Don't you think we should be getting on to school now? I'd rather get on to you, Mary. on Norman's hot dog. Rosie! I'm not going to picnic on anyone's hot dog. I'm nervous enough about tonight already. Still thinking about your sister? I don't know about you guys, but um, I still have nightmares. Yeah. You know, I wonder what ever happened to Johnny. Just think, a little guy like that running away at four years old. Yeah, must have been a real nightmare for him trying to find a job and... Being so short. Can we change the subject? It's giving me the creeps. Did you get a date yet, Bambi? No. I still have a full school day to work on it. Are you still going with Tony Schlongini, or um, did he get kicked out of school for wearing his pants too tight? Everyone's talking about him. People that know him just love him. So if you're feeling down, or if you're feeling blue, this dude will make you feel super cool. Tony Schlongini. My temperature rises, my soul realizes She almost approaches my lead when she's hot Tony Slogini, ow! Very funny. Maybe I could ask Norman to fix you up with someone. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to end up with some mystery date. <laughs> What's this? Oh, leave him alone. He's already gone through two pairs of pants this week. Hi, gorgeous. You know, you got champagne taste, sweetheart. How you doing? Just burning some homework. Sneak preview. Huh? <laughs> Guess what? I'm not wearing any panties. <laughs> and I'm not going to be wearing any tonight either. What do you think about that? Huh? See you tonight. <laughs> Come on, girls. Oh, my God. Don't be embarrassed by Rosie's crass attitude. Why, I bet half the girls in this school don't wear panties. But, Tony, I want you to know that not all girls are like that. I'm wearing mine. See? <laughs> oh, my. So, 
Catch you, you're a mess. You haven't, you haven't shaved in a week. You need a haircut. Oh, what's with the suit? You sleeping in it? Chief, I got to talk to you. Harbinger, every Halloween for 13 years, you've come in here screaming about a lawnmower murder. Chief, this time it's different. It's the 13th anniversary. I don't give a damn if it's Jack the Ripper's birthday. Now, look, I'm not sending three cops to some pumpkin prom looking for a psycho with a pumpkin head, a big nose, and a bunch of garden tools. If you don't believe me, maybe you believe this guy. Harbinger! Chief, this is Dr. Tip. The way you dot your eyes, it's very anal. I love you. How do you do? Your secretary has a magnificent butt. Who is this guy? He happens to be one of the five. I can speak for myself. I happen to be one of the finest psychoanalysts in the state mental facility. Ask me again and I'll tell you the same. Nice haircut. You repressed? Who is this clown? He calls me a clown. Uh, mm. uh, that upsets me. Get him out of here. <laughs> I feel unneeded. I can't function as an unneeded person. Chief, we need this guy. Please apologize. No! Now it's too late! You've inflicted emotional wounds which might take years to heal. Get him out of here. Uh. But <laughs> I understand your problem. And your haircut. So I will be a good citizen and cooperate. Just tell the chief what you told me. I love black women. No, no, about the patient who escaped. Well, the guy was a wacko. They brought him in 13 years ago. His records were destroyed in a fire. All I know is that he saw something horrible and violent and retreated completely into his psyche. Is he capable of murder? <laughs> well, he is catatonically introverted with undertones of psychotic schizophrenia. What does that mean? If you piss him off, run. That's it. Thank you, doctor. Doctor, but now, on the other hand, there could be a doctor. But now, on the other hand, I might have a few other theories that might be of interest to you. My great help! Damn it, Chief! The lawnmower killer's back, and I'm going to get him. Now, I've got Olson and Johnson waiting out in the hall, ready to stake out that school. All we need is a sign from you. Will you give me that sign, Chief? Does that mean no? Shouldn't you be staking out the pumpkin patch about now? Yeah. Harbinger, mow this! <laughs> Excuse me. What do you want? I need to talk to you about something that happened 13 years ago. It involves Halloween and prom night, a lawnmower, a pumpkin head, and a large nose. Just buzz out of here, wise guy. No, wait. Doesn't this ring a bell? <laughs> Get out of here, you weirdo. No one ever listens to me. They'll be sorry. They'll see. They'll all see. Science is a discipline which involves observational procedures, patterns of argument, and methods of representation, and of course, careful calculations that are logical. <laughs> the concept that matter is in continual motion must prevail over the concept that matter is in a state of static equilibrium. Thus, as I am clearly demonstrating, God the himmel, the molecular structure of atoms in molecules may not be considered pointing. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Lola, if you please. <laughs> Ah, of 
What's happening? But Dr. Morrow's a great teacher. He makes science so believable. I hear he has his own island. Not here, Norman. What would people think? See you at lunch, Sloan? No, I can't eat before the football game. I, I get cramps. I don't know what you're so nervous about. De Palma's creamed you guys for the last 13 years. Oh, yeah? Well, tonight's gonna be different. We're gonna tear them limb from limb. You know, Dr. Morrow was telling... Dr. Morrow made us swear never to tell a living soul about the secret serum he's gonna give us. The serum that's gonna turn our team of pansies into a pack of wild animals. So shut up. Sorry. It's okay. Nah, I apologize. It's okay. No, now I feel very bad. I'm sorry. Tony, it's okay. We'll see you girls later. Sure, they laugh now, but they don't remember that fatal night 13 years ago when something evil gripped this town. I need a coffee. That's when I started drinking. I was just a rookie, making my nightly rounds that evening when I saw a beautiful young girl in need of assistance. Oh, she couldn't be more than 15 or 16, but she was a woman. I looked over at her, noticed her pouting lips aching from mine. As I drove along, we didn't say much, but apparently she liked me. <laughs> she hiked up her skirt inch by inch by inch revealing her creamy, statutory thighs. I reached over and gently tweaked her head. No, 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 that, that didn't really happen, no. Now, the true story is this. I was working out of price, doing some routine undercover work at the local massage parlor. Bad sergeant! She yelled and she cracked the whip across my back. I begged her to stop, but she wouldn't. Pain surged through my body. Oh, God, it was... No, wait a minute. No, 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 no. That didn't really happen either. No. No, the true story, and you got to take my word for it this time, was this. The family was hysterical. The rabbi was dead. I had to whip out my switchblade and circumcise that kid myself. God, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look. Look, I'll give you the real, true, honest to God flashback right now. Yeah. Now, what happened was, I was driving home late at night. It was after the policeman's Halloween ball. Boy, was I depressed. I had to go dress as a damn clown. Maloney had stolen my costume idea. It was about midnight when I got the call. It's a gruesome murder at the local high school. It was the most grisly thing I'd ever seen. Blood was everywhere. The bodies were unrecognizable. The weapon of death was a large gas-powered lawnmower. I was revolted. But you know what really pissed me off was Maloney standing there in my kangaroo suit. I was so upset that I volunteered for the job of breaking the news to one of the victim's parents, a doctor and Mrs. Graves. Telling parents that their child is dead is about the hardest thing I can think of. I still haven't figured out an easy way to do it, so I thought I'd ease on into it. Trick or treat. Oh. Well, here's a nice, shiny red apple. Police business? I'd like to have a few words with you. Oh, I... I... Uh, uh... Look, if it's about the razor blades and the apples again, it was an accident. I was shaving over the fruit and one of them dropped in. I'm sorry about the little boy and it won't happen again. Get the apple back. I'm afraid this is a little more important than that. Look out! Over there! I'm sorry, uh, what were you saying? It's about your daughter. Pam, what about her? Well, I don't know how to tell you this, so I'll just have to be blunt. Pam's been murdered. And the other daughter, Mary, she saw the whole thing. She's bound to be screwed up by the terrible images she must carry with her for the rest of her life. Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, look, look, I'm sorry, I... Uh, it's any consolation. Uh, See, watch that. Oh. 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 Yeah. See? Oh. <laughs>
It's a giraffe. <laughs> Cute little devil, huh? That was 13 years ago, and I remember it just like it was yesterday. I'm life all I want. I'm going to solve this case if it kills me. I got a picture of every dip who's come into this lawnmower shop for the last 13 years. One of these dips is a lawnmower killer. Man can only take so much shit before he has to start throwing some of it back. I think I know just where to start fooling it. The perverted school gardener geek. Do you ever see this man before? No. You ever seen this woman before? Look, I'm not here to play games with you, geek. Uh, that's Zeke. So don't pretend you don't know what I'm here for. Well, uh, let me guess. This is the classic cast suspicion on perverted school gardener scene? Are you got a geek. Zick! Whatever. Just remember, I'm on to you. You step out of line once, I'll be there. You make a wrong move, I'll be there. You take your clothes off, I'll be there. This day is lasting forever. It seems like an eternity until tonight. Oh, the hours oh. seem like oh, days. Yeah. The minutes seem like hours. The seconds seem like, like... A long time. Mary, tonight will be the first time we've ever, well, we've ever had a chance to... Pork. No! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just got excited for a second. You didn't tell anybody about my problem, did you? No, of course not. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. Of course I trust you. And I'm really honored that you're still a virgin. <laughs> oh, Tony's in the pea soup again. Good stuff. Well, 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 Dick Harbinger back again this year to get all hot about the lawnmower killer, I suppose. Well, I have a lot more important things to get all hot about than that. Take a look at this young man here. Take a good, long look at a sinner. Are you listening, sinner? Yes. Yes. A perfect example of today's depraved youth. Yes, reduced by society's want and lust and nothing more than a pleasure-seeking animal. Sure. <laughs> when he's hungry, he eats. When he's tired, he sleeps. And when he gets aroused. <gasps> I don't even like to think about it. Yes, who can turn back the tide of this rising boy's hot blood? Who can quell his thriving passions? His parents couldn't clamp down. Society couldn't clamp down. But I, Harry Palm, still clamped on down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What better way to stop vice than with a vice? Are you a sinner? Yes, I am. Do you repent of your sins? Yes, I do, Mr. Palm. <laughs> Whoa, look at him now. Yes, gentle as a lamb and blank as a fart. How'd a gonad like you ever become vice principal? It's a good question, my boy. It's a good question. Because I'm a man who understands vice and corruption among our young men and women today. Yes, I do. Well, I've read about it, I've lectured about it, I've taught about it, I've watched it all over. Yes, look at I've even confiscated these 313 pairs of delicious panties. Yes, I have whips, chains, leather garters, and even my own flock of adorable young sheep. Yes, you ask me how this gonad got to be vice principal. I'll tell you. Experience, I know vice. Damn it, Harry Palms. We got a killer loose around here, and I want to know what the hell you're going to do about it. Oh, uh, can I be frank, Dick? Oh, sure, Frank. Let me tell you, frankly, 
Dick, I'm just bored, bored, bored with this, this lone more crap you've been giving me every year. I'm sick of it to death. Yes, you're not a believer. I can see it in your eyes. I know it all. It's a wives' tale, this lawn more thing. Why I know this school like I know the back of my hand. You don't have faith. If you just trust in me, I could help you. I could help you become a believer. I could lay hands on your head. I'd love that. Uh-huh. Am I getting through to you? Miss Graves, don't you think it's about time you got over this silly lawnmower phobia of yours? I realize you're bound to be screwed up by the terrible images you'll carry around with you the rest of your life. But if one can't sleep in the library without being disturbed, where can one sleep? I think you owe the entire library an apology. I'm sorry. Oh. Hey, Tony, what's in my combination? Yeah, it's 13, 13, 13. Can you repeat that? 13, 13, 13. Thanks a lot, man. Guess who? All right, all right. Who? Guess who? Go ahead. No, guess who? Who what? What? Who? Where? I don't know where. I don't know who. The one more killer, right? <laughs> Boy, Tony, you really pulled a boner on that one. How can you be such a geek? That's Zeke! Oh, whatever. How can you forget that it was Mary's sister, Pam, who got chopped up into hamburger meat by that fiend right before her eyes, and she's bound to be screwed up by the images she must carry around with her the rest of her life. I, I really apologize. I... That's okay. I don't mean it. You know, I I'm sick. Forget it, Tony. I, I really feel sick that you're sick about this, so I'm... Tony! It's all right! I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Accidents are caused 
by nothing more than carelessness and a lack of respect for common courtesy. No sm- Hey, man, what are you doing? What's wrong, man? Hey, man, stop. What are you doing, man? Twenty-four cubic inches of hot pounding pistons in its place. Oh, so do I, little girl. <laughs> Guy like you would he has a date for the Halloween pumpkin trauma. Yeah, sweet cheeks. I got a date all right with destiny. <laughs> Tony, it's never been that good. Ever. Yeah. I'll give it a seven, all right, sweetheart? All right. <laughs> Damien, how many times have I told you this is not a toy? <laughs> Who is it? Just a moment. <laughs> Darling, I'm very busy. I'm stitching up Mr. Cooper. He just had a hysterectomy. Dr. Graves, Dr. Graves, Mrs. Cooper is ready for her hysterectomy in operating room 13. We're waiting for you. Uh, I'm sorry, darling. You go ahead. It was thrown right through the front window with a note attached. It says, it's Halloween, it's prom night, there's a psycho loose, so don't open the door, don't answer the phone, don't look in the attic, don't go to the bathroom, don't go into the ocean, and don't go into space because no one can hear you scream. Signed, a friend. Marge, can't go into a tizzy every time some nut throws a lawnmower through the window. Take two aspirin, call me in the morning. <laughs> Oh, wow, man. 
I don't know why we bother to suit up anymore. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. We haven't won a game in the 13 years I've been a senior, you know? What is that coming out of your locker? What the hell? Jeez. Now stand back. Don't touch it. Just stand what back. What is it? Don't touch it. Stand back. What is it? Just Don't stand touch back. it. What, what is it? Stand back. It's my locker. Just relax. What is it? Yeah, my old gym socks. I must have left them in there too long. It's just like you, Tony. Now, I'm telling you, Chief, he's back. I saw him and I chased him. Now, we gotta get some men down here right away. Look, Chief, I pulled this lawnmower out of a girl's locker today. I'll be off in a minute, buddy. But, uh, Chief, now I've got suspects all over the place here. A geek. That's it! A loony. A weirdo. A jock. I'm beginning to worry about my own son, little dick. Chief, this is a matter of life and death. I don't know what's the matter with you guys down there. Arbiter, this is the work of a werewolf. That's right. And we're going to find the werewolf and get a conviction from it. The fact is, tactical squad's out looking for him in the woods. What's wrong, Mary? Oh, I'm just allergic to these damn pom-poms. I know that's not it. I'm scared about tonight. About making it with Norman? Or getting hacked up by the lawnmower killer? Or both. No. I'm gonna miss cheerleading. It's our last game. We're seniors, guys. We're young, pretty, popular, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. Cheerleading is all we know. But after tonight, our creamy white thighs Sparkling smiles and pouting breasts won't mean shit. <laughs> Let's not let our bleak future put a damper on our spirit. We're gonna go out there tonight and come back a star. Ready? Ready. I promised you that when I took over this team last year, that our record of zero yeah, wins, right. <laughs> 113 losses, had to stop. Tonight, my pets, I mean men, <laughs> I am going to keep that promise. You have received the benefit of 25 years of scientific experimentation. Oh! Yes. Yes. <laughs> Football is a game that requires courage, guts, uh, determination, but most important of all, confidence. Savage, animal confidence. To do a thing, you must first know what that thing is. Once you know what that thing is, you must believe with all your heart and soul that it can be done. Once you believe that it can be done, then you must get up and do it. And that it is this game. We are going to win this game. Why? Because we have the confidence. We have the desire. We have the determination. But most important of all, we have me, Dr. Mengele. <laughs> I mean, Dr. Moreau. <laughs> Uh, now, let's get out on the field and show them what we are made of. Are we tough? Are we mean? Are we animals? Uh, let's get out on the field and tear them limb from limb! Then, uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, 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 let's go,
Dot. I am a human being. Hi, Mom. Hi, dear. Anything happen at school today? Oh, uh, nah. I mean, like, you know, nothing. No, same old boring routine. Mm -hmm. How was the game? Oh, God! It was, like, totally, totally weird. I mean, like, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, you know, like, we went for the first time in 13 years. Mm. Our boys ate them up. That's nice. Oh, there was a phone message for you. Oh, wow. From Norman? Oh, wow. He didn't say. Oh, come on, Mom. What did he say? Well, at first, you know, he goes like, uh, well, at first he goes, uh, your daughter's gonna die tonight. And uh, then he says, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Far out. Friend of yours, dear? Probably. It must be that devil in the attic again. I'll go all by myself and check it out. Oh, good idea, darling. He's on the fringe, the verge, the brink. He's hearing voices in the night. <laughs> All I know is if he doesn't get some sleep pretty soon, it's gonna be farewell, my lovely dick. do 
doing? Yeah. Nothing, dear. I was... It's, it's uh, mowing the lawn. It's... Sure, Daddy. That's what you always say. I think UCLA is a wonderful college for Rosie. That way she won't have to leave home. <laughs> oh, nonsense, Lenore. She'll be attending Harvard, just like her father. <laughs> and what are your plans, Anthony? What? what uh, you talking to me? Yes, Anthony. Anthony. Don't ever. Tony. Stay out of this, Rosie. Don't ever, ever call me Anthony. Call me Tony. Call me Mr. Schlangini. My friends like to call me the Schlang, you know? <laughs> but never call me Anthony. Do we understand each other? Yes, Mr. Schlangini. Gini. Gini, yes. Then it's delicious. Yes. Why, thank you. <laughs> And, uh, what have you two planned after the prom tonight? Rosie. <laughs> oh, not again. Oh, oh, oh. Norman, I'm just delighted that you and your mother could join us for dinner. Well, it was very kind of you to invite us, Mrs. Graves. I don't get out of the house much, Mrs. Graves, so this is a real treat for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a real treat for us, too, Mrs. Bates. I bet you didn't know that my mom can sing and drink water at the same time. No. Yeah, I, I'd like to see that, Norman. I'm not really thirsty, Norman. Oh, yes, you are, Mother. No, no, I'm not really thirsty. Yes, yes. Here we go. Ready? One, two. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle do die. A real life nephew from my old Uncle Sam. Born on the 4th of July. What's with this yabo? Shh! Mrs. Bates is singing. Uh, I think it's time to carve the bird, dear. Yes, yes. <laughs> What you made me do? Sorry, Mom! Mary, this lawnmower phobia of yours has gotten completely out of hand. I know you are bound to be screwed up by that terrible image that you've got to carry with you for the rest of your life. But why does it have to extend to the rest of us? son. Have you been getting enough sleep? Now realize that you're old enough now to make your own decisions, son. But you can't take the job home with you. You have to learn to let go. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in an early grade. Dick, you know, I think the problem is, is that you're not getting enough exercise. Why, a, a key to a good night's sleep is physical exhaustion. Dick, take it from your older brother. All you need is a good woman. No, no, what he needs is simply to... think it's too modern? Really, Mom? Dad did a good job. It's one of the best haircuts you've ever had. Well, how sweet. Hmm. 
<laughs> Come on, darling. I want to take a good picture of you in your little Alice in Wonderland costume. Mom, do we have to do this? Oh, you both look so gorgeous. Now, come on, smile. All right. Now, one more, one Mom, more. Mom, we'll be late. There's been an emergency at the hospital. I'll see you later. You've wanted a Halloween pumpkin prom without me. All right, dear. Bye-bye. Good night, Dr. Graves. Well, I guess we should be on our way. Okay. Jamie and darling. Damien. Mrs. Bates has been kind enough to sit with you tonight. So I want you to be a very, very good boy. Mama's precious angel. <laughs> okay, Ma. Oh, you know, just being here with you kids tonight sure brings back a lot of fond memories. <laughs> oh, I remember my first pork. What, Mrs. Graves? The prom, Norman. My first Halloween pumpkin prom. I'll never forget the first time I saw your father. He was so handsome in his pink sport coat and his white carnation. Standing there, outside my bedroom window. If I'm rambling on too much, just let me know. Oh, uh, not at all. bald-headed guy behind her. I don't know. Maybe the lawnmower killer. Boy, I'm on my way downtown. Yes, and Mama picks me up in the cab. <laughs> oh my gosh, leatherette. Yes, just in like in the Lincoln Continental by my head. Ooh, look at this, big black leather. Ooh, it's too much. Yes, if the silvers could only see me now, I'd swear boogie fever was a nose infection. Yes, come back and give me this number. Love it. Look at what? What is that noise? I think the village people have come to audition me. Woo! Anything? Yes. I believe me in trick or treat. <laughs> Oh, money. Oh, yes, you come a little. I have a Mars bar for you. Maybe that's 
arsenal. How about a little treat here? Oh, yes. You've come to be healed of sin. You've come to the right place, my friend. Well, I can just squeeze your head, too, but I get pumpkin pie. Oh, you're putting the pressure on me now, baby. I'm cold. Yes, take me the thing you need. White. <laughs> I just got out of OR. What happened to you? It looks like it got thrown out of a car. I was just telling the kids about the first night we met. Oh, you did get thrown out of a car. Looney! Looney! Where's for out now, Looney? Is that you? Why'd you run away? Oh, oh, look, I'm sorry my friend scared me. That's just Mary. She's a screamer. Don't you want to go to a Halloween pumpkin prom with me? Huh? <laughs> out for drugs or drink that's against the rules it's okay we're just having some kinky sex oh all right superman what cafeteria hey food all right Ketchup. They'll be sorry. All of them will be sorry. You'll wait and see. You'll be sorry. Mary? Yes, Norman? Have I ever told you how much I... How much I... Love me? Yeah. And that... No matter what happens to her, no matter what happens, I'm still... I'm still... Respect me? Yeah, right. And holding you here in my arms right now, I am just so, so... Exactly. <laughs> well, you just stay that way. I'll be right back. Mary, where are you going? I'm going to look for Bambi. I'm worried about her. Well, I'll go with you. No. This is something I just have to do alone. Why? Don't ask me why. Well, how come? Norman. Look, Mary, I'm not letting you go out there alone. It could be dangerous out there. You think I'm afraid? Just because it's Halloween. It's prom night. There's a psycho loose. It's pitch black outside, and I'm carrying around childhood images that are bound to screw me up for the rest of my life. I'm not afraid. My father's name. <laughs>
time with nurse. Ah! <laughs> Andy! 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 It's dark out here, don't play games. I'm sorry I scared your date. Bambi, is that you? Is anybody there? I'm not gonna scream and I'm not gonna run. I'm not gonna scream. I'm not gonna run. If I can put that. You've been a big help, Dad. Thanks. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi there. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I, re I really don't know what to say about this. I'm really choked up. But, well, thanks for electing me queen in the Halloween pumpkin prom. And thanks for giving me, the, me this wonderful door prize. In honor of this occasion, I'd like to recite a little poem that I wrote for Mare. Just for this, it goes something like this. She's lived in fear since I've known her. The mighty roar of the old lawnmower. Help me! Somebody! Oh, Norman! Hey, Norman! Come on Mary. Not now. Can't you see I'm right in the middle of my bed? me off. Hold him down! Hold him down! Don't trust him. Get back! Get back! Give him room to breathe! Nice costume. Oh, thanks. Just something I threw together at the last minute. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You know, uh, they locked me up for 13 years because I cracked after witnessing the lawnmower killings, and uh, my first day out was so bad. How bad was it? Thanks, Doc. <laughs> well, it was so bad, I saw a nurse get mauled by a werewolf, the lawnmower killer returned, and my first date in 13 years goes and gets her head chopped off. Yeah. Anyway, we have a great show for you tonight, although this uh, monologue isn't part of it. It's Johnny! So, Johnny, how have you been? Oh, Mary, uh, I've been so bad. <laughs> Costume. It's no costume, bitch. Hi, I'm Mary. Who are you? Bob the Elephant. Not you, him. I'm the lawnmower killer. Oh, come on. Come on. I am the lawnmower killer. I'm not kidding. Oh, yeah, you couldn't possibly sure. be. Yes, yes, yes. He really is the lawnmower killer. No oh, shit. shit. I've come back after 13 years to, to tell everybody that I'm all better now and... It'll never happen again. Oh, it's so silly. I just want you all to know I'm very sorry. You. Cut. But why? Naughty. Why didn't you tell me you were back? I tried to tell you. I told him he was back. They wouldn't believe me. They thought I was crazy. I wasn't crazy. Look, I only killed those people tonight just to prove a point. That the lawnmower killer could return again. Anywhere. Anytime. Please. Anywhere, two men judge each other by the color of their skins. Anywhere, the people are not free to worship the religion of their choice. Anywhere, that man is forbidden to buy a lawnmower to protect his home and his family. Oh, For 13 years, <laughs> Nick. Good night, sweet prince. Flights of angels sing me to thy breath. Well, at least 
we won't have to worry about the lawnmower killer ever again. I'll never forget this Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. No, my darling, you won't need these earplugs anymore. Sorry, Norman. We still aren't able to. Poor cat. And we've been married now 13 months, 13 weeks, 13 days, and 1.3 hours. But who's counting? Oh, it's all right. With the terrible images that you must carry around with you, you're bound to be screwed up the rest of your life. Oh, oh Norman. Mary. Mr. George Kennedy. Ladies and gentlemen, we've made fun of a lot of things during our show, some of which, under other circumstances, would not be funny at all. One very serious point. Lawnmowers do not kill people. People kill people. Well, they do. Sure, Daddy. That's what you always say. Hold it in and be scarred for the rest of my life. Harbinger, what the hell is going on here? Bye bye. <laughs> Comedy 
I'm too tough to care When I walk rosy around Beholding the sight of a mound My temperature rises My soul realizes She almost approaches my league When she's hot Ow! Ow! 